people obviously have been saying to sell it and things like that and I've been forced to Hi guys and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing where you join me in a bit of a familiar place you join me in my Lamborghini Huracan uh, for what is going to be is it a fun day it might be a sad day ahead I'm going to be driving out and about and talking to you guys all things this car and clearing up a few of the questions which you guys have been sending in about it well a lot of you have been asking where the hell has this been and you would have seen maybe a week ago that video went live when I was explaining the wheel issue etc and I'll be talking to you the, what's happened to that and if it has been resolved etc but what I want to also talk to you guys about is that the future of this car and if you're new to the channel in March this year I purchased this Lamborghini Huracan and it's going to be crazy in March it would have been a year of owning this car <laughs> so many people thought it was going to be sort of five minutes before I sold it, but I've loved it. I loved every single second of owning a Lamborghini. I mean, it's anyone's dream car. Come on, let's be honest. And it was my dream car to get it. It was a dream come true. But now, a lot of things have been going on, and I want you got you guys to help me out as well. But is it now time to sell this car? And we're going to be discussing the reasons why it could be and the reasons why it might not be. But it might well be. And it would be a sad day to see this go because I love it that much and it really has been a massive part and for you guys as well, bring you all along the journey of where this car started to where it is now. Um, but we're going to discuss it. I really do want to discuss it and whenever I have something like this on my mind, I get out my camera and I talk to you guys because you are the people, um, the, the best people in this situation. So we're going to go for a drive and we're going to talk about it. Such a good noise, isn't it? So I've just pulled over and I've just come across a very cool location. I've come to sort of like a building site, like a cement place, very random, but with a stunning view of London as well. And look at this, look how cool this looks. That looks amazing, doesn't it? The car all parked up here. I came in and people are like, what the hell is he doing? Um, but I just really wanted to get a really nice photo. So I explained to them, can I get a nice photo? They've kind of allowed me. Um, so yeah, it's here all parked up and it does look amazing. Every time I take this out, I'm like, it does look good. And we're going to talk a little bit um, about that sort of value for money and how Hurricanes are sort of standing into the price and things like that. These cars now are roughly going for like, let's say 140, 150,000 pounds retail. They're holding their money seriously well, which is which is amazing. And I kind of knew that when I was getting into this car. Um, the guys at Redline Specialist Cars, Dean, he's a legend. He was like, look, this, you'll be fairly safe in that. And that's really important for me um, when I'm buying sort of a car like that, um, because you don't want to lose money. And you can lose thousands very quickly if you don't get in the right car. Can you believe that this, a Hurricane, is worth 150,000 and what it's got on it to make it what it is. It's so much car for the money, isn't it? It's ridiculous. If you don't know um, already, I'm pretty sure a lot of you will know, I've added a full 1016 body kit to this car. So it's not sort of stock. That's the carbon bonnet, the front splitter, the side skirts, the rear wing, and also the rear diffuser. It's had the purple wrap on it, we know that. And uh, yeah, some like it, some don't like it. I personally think it suits the car um, really well. If you're gonna get a Lamborghini uh, like this, um, a bold colour seems to be the way that I've kind of gone. Uh, but not everyone likes that, by the way. Um, and then obviously I've got this front carbon splitter, which is here, which obviously the normal sort of splitter finishes there. So it gives it a lot more. And if you look from this angle, you can sort of see just how much with these fins and they look mega as well. I left the current stock wheels. They did put aftermarket wheels on them, as you would have seen, but the stock wheels uh, for warranty, etc., um, is what they've stayed. And in terms of servicing, etc., I'll talk to you about that 
you need them on. Anyway, obviously the carbon bonnet which it's got on it, you're thinking, oh, you've got this massive sort of vent here, you've got no space. I do, it's still very good. Then you obviously go to the back, and that's where this body kit really has transformed what is, let's say, a standard Hurricane. It is a standard Hurricane, but it has transformed it, um, and I love that. I really, really do. The split, the rear diffuser, honestly, I think for me, owning this has been the biggest game changer. It really, really has. Um, just because of just how far it comes out. It literally comes out so far. And then obviously this very cool rear wing. Would be a shame to see that go, wouldn't it? Let's be honest, I've loved owning it. But sometimes in life there needs to be a change because if you sell it, then what are you gonna get value for money? And that's the thing, like, I'm in a, diff I'm in a tricky position now. If, I, if that goes, what next? Right, here we go, time to drive. Oh, it's always nice when you get back in this. <laughs> the noise of it. Oh! How did you get aboard of that V10? It is so good. The smile, the smile when I get a chance to actually get my foot down. Automatic mode is very annoying. I'm back to manual and it just, it's just a great car. <laughs> Right, let's talk about the car. And the wheel issue, uh, it's, it believes that, well, it believes, I believe that this is a slow puncture, the research that I've done and we've done. Um, so that needs a new tire, which is not that cheap, but it could be a lot worse. It could be a new wheel, which is then into the thousands. But yeah, I just haven't really been driving this car much, which is pretty sad. Um, and there's always a room for change at some point, and could, this be replaced. If I was going to, over Christmas, it makes zero, zero sense to sort of even thinking about selling it. So it's not going anytime, it wouldn't go anytime in the next sort of couple of months. I reckon it would be sort of end of February, March time um, was when I would look, because then I would get a new car for, let's say the summer, and then summer road trips, etc. cetera. Um, that when a new car would come along and I'd get the chance to, yeah, take another car to Monaco, etc. Took it to Monaco. I've able to wrap it. It's been black chrome. It's now purple. I've been able to do a body kit on it. It's got an aftermarket exhaust on it. It's got a Caprizzo exhaust, which a lot of you actually won't know. It's got a Caprizzo exhaust, which we found out, um, which gives it that incredible sound. And there's not really much else that you can do to it. I mean, I could go again and I could rewrap it um, and make it sort of different, but I think a lot of you guys would think, come on, are you being realistic here? There could be a chance in the new year to freshen things up, start a new journey um, and things like that. And I don't like selling my car. I've said many times I would love to do track content. I would, um, so something maybe is good on the track. Obviously Aventador is super out there, super crazy, and that's a, sort of another Lamborghini dream. But then there's also the other side of a track sort of more based car, which I could sort of do track days on, but then also take to them down the road and it's sort of like, wow. I was talking to Tom about this and we were having a real long discussion about what I should do. Um, and he was like, look, a Hurricane, let's be honest, it's a wicked car, it sounds... I mean, it sounds like that. Oh, it's just mental. Um, he was like, look, it sounds good, looks good, everything else, but Aventador, Aventador, Archie, Aventador. It's all he said. I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, yeah, V12 Aventador. Get rid of it. I'm like, oh God, really? Like literally, all he wants me to see me in is an Aventador. Like he's just like, yeah, Aventador, no, no, Hurricane. You know, it's time to, to just get an Aventador. And then let's talk about prices with that. Let, so my finances, if I get that next stage up, let's say a Ventador, my finances a month are almost double. So I have to remember that when you look at something like an Aventador and things like that, let's say over the 200,000 pound price bracket, your monthlies, etc., are going to be double. They really are, it's a 250,000 pound car. Prices, you're not really sure, they're not necessarily holding 
as well. So if I was going to sell this, I need to have my money in something safe because I just can't afford the depreciation of, obviously every car is going to depreciate. We know that, but I can't afford for something to lose thousands and thousands because that is crippling. Like that would finish me off in one go. Honestly, if something like that happened and I lost, let's say 20, 30,000, it would be crippling. It really would. Um, so I have to remember that when he's like going, oh, Aventador, Aventador, that next stage of like going from, let's say 150,000 pound supercar to, to like 200,000, it's a massive, massive difference in terms of finances. A lot of people obviously have been saying to sell it and things like that, and I've been forced to be in this situation where I have need to think long and hard in the next couple of weeks. And what I want you guys to do, this is where you guys are the best. Obviously my audience are the best, that's, that's a clear fact. But it's to help me and get commenting down below what you want. Do you want this to stay or do you want this to go? Do you want this to stay and have a different wrap and things be different to it in terms of like that side and um, potentially other things in terms of mods, but I'm very limited. I've kind of done the full 1016 body kit and I'm at that position now where there's only small little things you can do. You can kind of do like the vendors sort of on the arches and things like the fenders, not the fenders, fenders on the arches and things like that. You can do that. Or do you want a whole new change? I'm not ruling out being in a position of keeping this and enjoying it in the summer. It's still a Lamborghini, it's still a Lamborghini Hurricane. We can go on loads of adventures, loads of cool stuff still, and change the colour and do something else. But that, but you might want to change. Right, so I've decided to come out and about, and I've now I'm on my phone. More on my phone in a little bit. There'll be more on this soon, there'll be more on this soon. Um, but the man who I want to get in this video, um, a man who keeps on telling me that I need to sell my hurricane and keeps on forcing me into this situation is here. Wait a minute, before we get that, he's actually just got a very nice delivery of a car, which is going to be on your channel shortly. Um, what it's almost a Lamborghini, it's basically the same thing. Okay, well don't worry about that, we don't need to talk about it. Okay, what do you reckon then? Let's get your opinion, car-wise. Just get a V12 and stop annoying me. What did I say in the video? Literally, this is exactly what I said in the video, was that... You... I've said the right thing then. Well, I don't know what my audience are thinking at this point, but... Oh no, they'll be agreeing with me. They hate me, but they'll be agreeing with me. You need a V12. You need to get an Aventador S, you need to modify the hell out of it, and you need to cause carnage. Because the Hurricane's good, but I'm bored of it, and I'm bored of your chat, so get a V12, alright? Thank you. What about anything else? Um, McLaren? <sighs> but is it time for the car to go in March? Because actually we're... March we're... is, yes. Not yet, obviously. But right March now, time. We're in December, but yeah, March time, it goes and you get a V12 Lamborghini. What happens if I have it on from March? I don't know. I'll, Would you I'll, be annoyed? I'll probably fall out with you and, and your audience might as well, so I, I don't know. It's anyone's guess. You can't wrap it again. If you <laughs> if you say you're getting a new car in March and then you just go and wrap it. No. It's a and claim that's a new car. No. That's a push even for us. <laughs> <laughs> so it is time to park up the Hurricane and yeah, an interesting topic. Let's see what happens next with this car. And funny enough, Dean from Redline just called me. He's actually coming into London. So me, Tom and James are going to be his tour guide for the evening, um, so which is going to be quite, quite a laugh. Um, but he was like, your next car. Ah, right, pal, I've got a few ideas for your car. He comes from up north. Anyway, he doesn't actually talk like that. But anyway, so he was literally saying, McLaren 720S, they are dropping fast. They are dropping very fast and they're getting to Lamborghini Huracan money which is unbelievable. I mean, that is, that's actually a thing, that they are actually getting to that sort of money, which does, doesn't make any sense at all. Um, so that's a potential car. I mean, so much car, isn't it? It really is, with the doors and everything. Very cool. And then he actually threw a spanner in the works. He said, you're not really going to be expecting me to say this, but a Hurricane Performante, as they are dropping rapidly as well. I was like, but I've had a Hurricane. So then what does that make sense? Is that for the track, pal? for the track. I was like, actually, that's actually quite a good valid point you've got there, Dean. Um, because round a track, it did hold the N Nürburgring lap record, and etc. Very impressive. And I drove Tony's round the track and I was like, this is very, very good. So, options are there. Get commenting down below. Help me out in this situation. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all very soon.